Prayer is one of the most intimate ways we communicate with God. We pour out our hearts, share our hopes, and ask for His help. Yet there are times when it feels like our prayers go unanswered. Why is that? Does God not hear us? Or is there something else at play? Today we'll explore reasons why your prayers may not be answered and what you can do while you wait. It's important to know that God always hears our prayers. 1 John 5 verse 14 says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. So why do some prayers seem unanswered? The answer often lies in God's timing, our heart's condition, or the purpose behind our requests. One key reason for an unanswered prayer is timing. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 tells us, There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. God operates outside of our limited understanding of time. We may want immediate results, but God sees the bigger picture. He knows when it's best to answer our prayers, and sometimes that means waiting. Consider the story of Lazarus in John 11. Mary and Martha asked Jesus to come heal their brother, but he delayed for several days. It seemed like their prayers were ignored, but Jesus had a greater plan to demonstrate his power by raising Lazarus from the dead. What looked like an unanswered prayer was actually part of a larger miracle. When we feel like God isn't answering, it may simply be that he's working behind the scenes. His delay could be setting the stage for something far greater than we can imagine. Another factor that can hinder our prayers is the state of our heart. Psalm 66 verse 18 says, If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. If there's unconfessed sin in our lives, it can act as a barrier between us and God. While He is merciful and forgiving, He calls us to come to Him with a pure heart. In Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24, Jesus teaches, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go, and be reconciled to them. Then come, and offer your gift. If we harbor bitterness, unforgiveness, or any other sin, it can block the flow of communication between us and God. Confession and repentance are essential steps in ensuring our prayers are heard. Sometimes we ask for things that are not in line with God's will for us. James 4 verse 3 says, When you ask, you do not receive, because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. We might be praying for something that isn't best for us, or our desires may be self-centered rather than God-centered. Jesus provides the perfect model of prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. In Matthew 26, verse 39, he prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Jesus submitted his desires to the will of the Father, trusting that God's plan was best, even if it involved suffering. Likewise, we must learn to align our prayers with God's will and trust that he knows what is best for our lives. While waiting for God to answer, we can grow impatient or discouraged. But there are things we can actively do during this season of waiting. Psalm 37 verse 5 encourages us. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do this. Trusting God means believing that He is working, even when we cannot see the results. His faithfulness has been proven throughout Scripture, and it continues in our lives today. Abraham, for example, waited years for the fulfillment of God's promise of a son. Though it seemed impossible, Abraham trusted in God's faithfulness, and in time, Isaac was born. While you wait, remember that God is faithful to His promises. Waiting doesn't mean we stop praying. In Luke 18, Jesus shares the parable of the persistent widow to show that we should always pray and not give up. Even when answers seem delayed, we must continue praying with faith and perseverance.
Jesus tells us in Matthew 7 verse 7, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Keep bringing your requests before God, trusting that He will answer in His perfect timing. Sometimes God uses periods of waiting to draw us closer to Him. As we wait, we can deepen our relationship with Him through prayer, scripture reading, and worship. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 encourages us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we grow closer to God, we begin to see that the waiting is not wasted. It becomes a time of transformation where our character is refined and our faith is strengthened. Unanswered prayer doesn't mean God is absent or indifferent. Often, it's a matter of His timing, our heart's condition, or aligning with His will. While we wait, we can trust in God's faithfulness, persist in prayer, and grow in our relationship with Him. Remember, God is always at work, even when we cannot see it. Keep your faith alive, and in due time, His perfect answer will come. If you found this message encouraging, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us share more life-changing lessons from God's Word. Stay connected for more uplifting content.